Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Rust video. Today we're going to have an early look at the development of one of the new features for the Rust Plus bot. We have some drone tech. Here we can see we have launched the drone through the use of a command and the drone is now automatically following us. We'll run a bit faster and we can see obviously that the drone keeps up no problems as it should. It's a drone, it's faster. And now we're going to try our next command, which is for it to stay. So the drone is now just going to stay there as we wander off into the desert. And now the next command we'll try out is the follow command. So we're going to get it to start following us again. As we can see, it's a bit hard to see in the desert because it's the same colour, but there it is. It's following us. New beauty, it's found us and it'll keep following us until we try the next command, which is the scout command. And that will send the drone forwards to scout in front of you and then backwards. Now you may notice that it has sent an alert to say that it's spotted an entity. So the drone will detect players and scientists and whatnot, and it will give you a notification when it does see one, and it can detect up to 100 meters. Uh, the next command we just saw was the scan command, and that's the same as the scout command, but instead of going forwards and backwards, it's side to side. And the next command is my favorite command, is the lift command. So that sends the drone up in the air. Uh, it'll stay up at that height and keep following you up at that height, unless you want it to do a scout up there or a, or a scan, or you want it to stay up there. It'll just keep following you at that height, which conveniently is outside of the sound range of the drone. So it's sitting up there detecting players for you at up to 100 meters and it can't be heard at that height which is pretty pretty strong if you ask me and then the opposite of the lift command is the uh, drop command so that will bring the drone back down to the height that you want it at the moment there's 20 height levels and you can incrementally send the drone up and down each of those levels um, or you can go straight to a certain level. Uh, the next command we'll look at is the level command, which will level out your camera, whatever height you're at. And then the very last command is the land command. And that will allow you to land the drone from any height. It'll give it a nice safe descent and land without damaging your drone. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think. Could you find a use for this in the game? Uh, is there any features that you could think that would be worth adding? And uh, if you are interested in this type of content, uh, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.